Hello everyone, let's learn how we can calculate the elapsed time in Microsoft Excel. It is super simple, right? You not, you just need to subtract from end time to start time, isn't it? Because you know the rule for the subtraction is from the bigger number, you always can minus the smaller number. But what if your end time is having a smaller number than your start time? Is it the simple way to calculate? If not, let's find out in this tutorial how you can do a calculations of a specific hours, right? So let's get started. So let's first utilize over here a simple formula that is equal to this one because it is end time minus start time and hit enter. So what happens here? You are getting the result very easily just because the end time is more or larger number than the start time. What if, have a look over here, do not see the AM and PM, have a look the time over here. So this 330 is a smaller number as compared to 924. Let me drag this one and see what it says. Just because here it is in the negative numbers, it is not, Excel is not able to calculate. So we are going to use a different formula all together at any situations, whether the end time is smaller or bigger, it will work. So the formula is, you need to put over here, we are going to add if. If we are giving a situation over here, that is end time, right? End time is smaller than the start time always remember if end time is smaller than the start time what we are giving the instruction to the excel one plus the end time minus the start time right here the one means 24 hours 24 hour means here we are filling the word or the particular uh, time or the day has been looping back to the clock right so in that case it will be adding 24 hours one is representing one day over here then if it is not less than we are going to put a very simple things that is end time minus start time and hit enter over here so here also you are getting the same answer but let me track this one so that you can understand exactly you are getting everything in its particular things have a look over here and if you have a look over here it has been extracted the hours and the minutes just because here in the custom if you go over here it has been formatted to hours and the minutes otherwise it, it would be looking like this something if you do the over here take an example same formula I am taking it for here to demonstrate and formatting as a time over here so you're getting the numbers like this over here so what do you need to do after using this formula you need to go over here in the number formatting click over here select the custom one and in custom keep on scrolling and go and select for hours and minutes this one hit ok so it will be converted how many hours and the minutes it has been consumed or the difference between the start time and the end time thank you very much please like and subscribe for more videos like this